Well, it's Sunday and I have done a video for every room in this apartment except for the bedroom. And this is the room that faces the street uh, with two nice windows and all the rooms are very large. Although it's a smaller apartment, the rooms themselves are very large. So we've got the bedroom here and then in the middle room that I'm standing in is the living room, which you saw the video of. And then in the back of the apartment is the large kitchen. And then down that way in the corner is the bathroom. So let's take a tour of the bedroom, the final room, our little sanctuary. Uh, I have always loved black and gray and white and earth tones but black is just my absolute favorite color and once we painted this bedroom gray because when when we moved in 22 years ago everything was beige and absolutely disgusting just a, any paint job would have made the place look great but the gray is so soothing and I think that however long we stay here I'll always have a gray bedroom it's very calming so you walk in here and right over to the left there is a door there and that door leads out into the hallway and occasionally we open the door and we open the other door that leads to the apartment and this is more in the springtime, summertime, and the flow of air that goes through is great. You can walk through the hallway right to that Zen Den as well. We love old houses because there's so many interesting little things to discover. And just all the doors. I mean, I can remember the first time I had my niece here. She was completely confused as to where the doors went and thought it was the coolest thing and after 22 years we still think it's cool. So that's the door that leads to the hallway. And I have this little table here that uh, I don't know I think it was a brown looks kind of like a little telephone table and of course we painted it black and it fits perfectly there and I've got three mirrors above it and then this fantastic skull was given to me for Christmas from my best friend she got it in Maine on one of her uh, camping trips and when she told me about it I you know almost blew a gasket I was like I cannot wait to get it and then I found the perfect spot for it and there's a some rosary beads dangling over it so I don't know if that's sacrilegious or what but that's how I have it <laughs> and down here I have a the book of rock a big 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 book that I love and some more rosary beads coming out of a vase and that's just a nice little part of the room that where I can display that fantastic skull and of course we've got the glass and the mirrors and the the skull I like to mix so many different elements um, that's kind of where I go and kind of what I like uh, this this I showed you is my boyfriend Christian's closet Okay, we're not going to look inside. It's a closet. And then in the middle of the closet, I have my vanity desk. I'll put a light on. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, I'll put a light on. So I have my lamp. I have my makeup mirror. I have a nice little display of rocks and crystals and my Buddha. And um, I take a lot of statues that I have and I put necklaces on them. Because why shouldn't this Buddha be adorned? And I think it looks really cool when you do that. So when I'm sitting here doing my makeup, it's kind of nice. There's another uh, set of rosary beads. Um, it's kind of nice because you have that nice calming area. I just have a little glass dish that I got the other day at the thrift store. Put some rings in there. So this is where I do my makeup. So. That is why there is a roll of paper towels attached to the side of this cabinet because I lay the paper towels down and it may not look, you know, like paper towels in a bedroom, but I think it's fine and it's necessary. So 
I mean, people have products out. They have a deodorant out on a bureau and just people's places, you know, they, they look messy and, you know, crazy, you know, no offense, but I, I don't want a bunch of products out. I want things put away. And so if paper towels are out, then paper towels are out. So I found this uh, picture and I loved it so much that I ended up doing my own version of it over here and these are just cabinet doors that are glass and I always change the artwork out so I just tape a piece of art inside the cabinet doors and whenever I get bored I change it out and on the top I have some vases and little pots and a taller one which is nice that reaches up to the ceiling and this is also a slant ceiling so that gives it a little character and then I also have a painting that I did and I'm just I am going to shut the light off now and it's a fluid art painting of a very elaborate bird and I used a lot of metallic paints with that and I think it looks really uh, right in that spot and of course I have another one of my textured palette knife paintings here black and white on the door and I like to put paintings in weird spots and maybe hang them in a way that might be a little off-center or a little different and I just like that that's my own personal taste and then I found that exit sign uh, I don't know I don't know which thrift store which secondhand store but I got that maybe I didn't maybe I got that at like a TJ Maxx but here is uh, a wider shot of how the room is and where we sleep which is people go crazy over that the fact that we actually well let's just go to the bed first people always say your bed is enormous well it's actually two full-size sattva mat mattresses pushed together and it makes an enormous oversized king bed and it's perfect because we each have our own bed but they're, they're not connected, connected, but they're pushed together. And uh, we get to sleep together, be together, but have our own bed at the same time. And it does make a dramatic statement in the room. So, right behind the door, and yes, the door is painted black, okay. So that's the door. And right here I decided to do a little gallery wall because normally I think most people would probably do the gallery wall on this huge wall. And I'm thinking about doing that someday. It would be a huge project, but it could look amazing if that entire wall was covered in art. But for right now I have a little mini one right here, which I'm gonna show you in just a sec. So there is a glare and you're not going to be able to see everything, but I ordered some prints off of eBay. Uh, not everything on this wall is actually um, from another artist. Uh, one, two, three, three, four are from, from uh, my own. And one of them is a painting my father did. So I've got that. And then I have this piece that I did. And then that is... A painting my father did of Zorba the Greek. I love it and I'm so happy it's in here. And I did this sketch of my boyfriend and I and it's really hard to see so I may not focus on the art too much. And that, that's two pieces that I did and two pieces from an Escher book and then another piece that I did and then another piece that I ordered from eBay and framed and I love this wall. It's kind of nice if I'm lying in bed and I can look up at all of that. That was kind of the goal. This is my side of the bed against the wall. I always like that cozy feeling of being like nooked in to an area. And then my boyfriend sleeps on this side. And right in front we put this Ikea table and we put clothes and notebooks and journals and blankets and things in the drawers 
and then I just set up a little kind of nice area here and I have a package of matches from a strip joint called the Naked Eye in Boston and these are so old and I just love the way it looks here for when I light my candle with some more rocks and such and my little mini disco balls and I found this candle holder also at a flea market and then I found these little di mini disco balls and they're styrofoam so they go right into these little holes and they stay there and it's fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Of course my boyfriend's almost six foot two so occasionally his feet kick kick the disco balls off and there's you know some sort of a mini uh, situation in the evening and then he says to me I don't know why you put the decorations at the bottom of the bed and then we move on with life um, so the good thing about the bed the cool thing about the bed is I can make it every morning any way I want I can put the pillows anyway I can put the blankets anyway it doesn't matter I never really make make the bed I want it to be kind of super inviting and comfortable and Next to the bed, we have another one of those tables that was, I guess, wooden, brown, crappy, and I really like the look of the table, so we painted it black, and it has the flaps, which we never really use, and it's just a side table, like a nightstand, and I know most people have a nightstand with a draw, maybe, or, but this is perfectly okay with us. And then behind the wall, I have this, this was done on a board. It's a drip painting, and there's a hole in the wall that has not been repaired yet. So we just attached that to the wall. And it kind of goes, let me just do this angle here. So that's kind of cool. That's the thing about our apartment that I like. There's so many uh, weird, see? Here we are in the bedroom, and there's all the music blasting from the cars outside. All right, so there's just so many little unique details of a place like this, and that's what I love. So this is a painting I did a long, long time ago, and it's 48 by 36, and that is really the perfect spot for it. So we have that hanging on the slant wall. I'm going to put this light back on so I can show you this area. So here's where we keep the TV. Next to the TV is another table that we repurposed and it does have drawers. And this is where I sit and I journal. And when I want to watch TV, I just turn the chair a little bit. Super comfortable chair that I had covered. Um, it's actually a chair that cost almost $1,000 that I bought 20 something years ago from Jordan's Furniture and it's a tobacco color and I just covered it and I'm, it's, it's, it is old and it, and it has seen better days but it's super comfortable and it's perfect here and I can sit here and in the drawers I have my journals and my pens and I can I can sit and write uh, or I can just turn the chair a little bit and then this TV is just on a you could turn it any which way you could turn it to face the bed watch movies at night totally simple perfect it does block the window and that's all right with us so that's that area so you can watch TV from the bed you can watch TV from the chair and that's just a tiny little crappy old dresser that we painted black and obviously someday I'd like something different there but for right now it's fine now above in between the windows I have this really great textured palette knife black and white painting that I did. So many different images in it and I really think it looks wonderful there. I think we definitely need to put more light on and we'll just revisit this area again. So this is where I do my makeup and this is actually a desk that I bought 
but I thought it would be pretty cool as a vanity. So in the drawers I just keep my makeup at hand. Everything is put away, organized. I know where everything is. And I can just sit here and get ready. Nice, calming, beautiful area. I have uh, drawers that I can put my contact lenses in, cabinet to hold Q-tips and things like that. And everything is perfectly organized and looks really pretty. And it's not messy. And these are like little placemats that I put over the desk so that I can kind of hold on to the piece of furniture for a long time especially if I'm doing makeup there I don't want it to get ruined quickly and then we have the window here and what's great is you can look outside and you can see the city and then you can see our beautiful, gorgeous magnolia tree that has, or dogwood tree. I always get confused which one it is, but it just bloomed on March 30th and it's stunning. So, I mean, if we look at the room from this view, it's great. It's, I think it's, it's not too feminine, it's not too masculine, and oh, I saved what I think is the best for last, and that is a disco ball hanging from that little piece in the ceiling, but he hung it with invisible uh, wire, fishing wire, I guess, and so it looks like it's floating in midair, and I think it's such a perfect... <laughs> Like, it's just a weird juxtaposition between all the elements in the room that are, there's some Buddhas and there's a disco ball and there's a skull and there's weird art and necklaces and rocks and crystals and I, I don't know, I like it. I like it. Let me put my flip-flops back on. Um, yeah, so, this is definitely... A sanctuary and it's also functional you know makes me want to go back to bed actually so if you like this video please subscribe I'm really trying to get subscribers and uh, I'd appreciate it all right, have a good sleep.